All right, so I just got done watching the Call of Duty next event. I gotta say, I'm somewhat pretty impressed. I was not really expecting them to really show off that much stuff at the uh, COD next event, but they actually showcased a lot of things, a lot more things than I really thought they were going to show off, such as DMZ mode. Warzone 2, by the way, looks pretty cool. I won't lie. The COD next event was fine, I thought. Uh, I felt like every single streamer I was watching, example is a swag stream, uh, I feel like Everybody in the chat just did not understand. Everybody in the chat was just going ape shit, saying how like the game just sucks and whatnot, man. Like it's, it's honestly like the community is very, very toxic nowadays, man. It, it, it kind of sucks to see that. I mean, I deleted social media as now. I, I can't stand seeing all the toxicity going around, man. It sucks. Like nine out of the 10 streamers I watched, like their chats are just going ape shit about how, man, there's no slide canceling. This game's gonna suck now. I'm like, dude, like this is how old COD was. We've been, we've been begging for like three years for old Call of Duty to come back now. The last old COD, I mean, I guess like old like movement COD base was like, like Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 to me was like the last real Call of Duty. Granted, this new MW2 game does not look like an old Call of Duty. It actually reminded me a lot of Battlefield 2042 and just like Battlefield vibes. The biggest thing for me was that there was no slide canceling. I loved it. Slide canceling Call of Duty just doesn't really belong, man. I'm, I'm a big fan of just OG movement. The Warzone 2 thing looked pretty fun though i'm not gonna lie i cannot wait to play the game honestly i'm just, i'm super excited to play the game i don't think i'm gonna be home though for uh the pc beta which is gonna suck i'll probably get my hands on the ps4 beta like the movement in the game is literally just this like you're just tax spraying the entire time which is honestly fine to me i don't really care i mean if i could have my way i would love tax sprint to just go away i don't really care about tax sprint like I said, OG COD movement, I like it. They mentioned ranked play, but I don't know if ranked play is gonna be coming or not in the beginning of the launch, but hopefully it does be kind of cool to play some ranked play. I feel like Call of Duty came out with a bunch of promises. And I'm really hoping they're gonna keep their promises, you know? That'd be kind of nice. Overall, I think the COD next event is pretty cool. They had they had a lot of new features coming to the game, like DMZ, they have a mode called Invasion. They, just, they got a lot of new things lined up and I was actually kind of impressed by the stream. I thought there'd be like less stuff in the game, but there's actually a lot of stuff in there. The one thing I will agree on though is the looting system is kind of whack in Warzone too. It's a little bit weird from looking at it. The guns have an insane amount of recoil though. I will say that the recoil in that game is pretty whack. But the biggest thing that to me with the newest Call of Duties and like today's generation is that everybody is just a hater, man. Every single person I see on the internet, biggest hater in the freaking world. It's like, Call of Duty, like nobody can ever please the community. It's kind of, it kind of sucks. Now, I will say I'm a big hater when it comes to Call of Duty. Sometimes I get like I run my mouth all the time too. I get pissed off whenever I die. I call out the stupidest things in the game. But like the community is just full of hate. And Call of Duty came out with their new like terms of service, something like that, about how they want to have their community be non-toxic and like be nicer to each other. And so I mean I'm not really sure that's even gonna work or not, but. I mean, with them adding proximity chat, it's probably gonna get worse. Overall, I would rate that COD event like a, uh, like an eight out of 10. I thought it was decent. I thought it was pretty good. Multiplayer, I liked how, uh, I want to say futuristic, but like, but like like the UI, the user interface was actually super, super clean. I liked that a lot. It made it look more futuristic, not so old. Modern Warfare 2019 looked kind of old in their UI. So I thought they did a pretty good job on that. It kind of reminded me of like a Black Ops 4 look even though it's not Black Ops 4. Or I guess they kind of, it kind of reminded me of like a Modern Warfare remastered. The UI was clean. The gameplay was pretty good. I liked the gameplay. It looked pretty fun. I mean, yeah, like the biggest thing to me was like just the energy of the of the chat and stuff like that. It was super negative, awful. Everybody's spamming L. Everyone's saying, oh, this is awful. And like none of the streamers ever reacted to their chat saying like L and, what, and whatnot. They never said anything about their chat. I mean, I'm not sure if they have the chat box open or not, but like, it's very, very toxic community we're in right now. It's very, very bad. I think the whole entire thing is that everyone's very split be between slide canceling and no slide canceling. So everyone there is very, very split. I'm more of a non slide canceling guy. Yes, yeah, slide canceling somewhat does add faster pace into the video game. But at the same time, not everybody wants to slide cancel 24 seven, man. One thing too, is that the mini map, does not work again. They're not having the red dots in the mini map again. I think this is the exact same issue with um, Modern Warfare 2019. I think they added into this game though. It's added back in there. Um, but that was a big issue too. Like the mini map was gone. 
Um, dead silence is not a perk again for some reason. It's like, it's, like, it's kind of like we tell the developers what we want and then they just say, yeah, yeah, I'll put it in the game. It never happens. I mean, we go from Modern Warfare 2019 to Cold War. Treyarch does everything right there. So I don't really know like what the big issue is about adding Dead Silence as a perk into Modern Warfare. Like, I'll be honest with you, man. Modern Warfare 2019, I don't have fun playing this game, but it's, I mean, we're on the topic of Modern Warfare, so I'm gonna play the game anyways. But I feel like the guns are just way too, way, just way too easy to shoot with. The guns have like, they have zero recoil in this game, man. Like zero. Any gun in this game can be stacked out to be zero recoil. That's I hated it. After watching the beta though for MW2, the the guns have a lot of recoil. Like a lot. And I'm like honestly, I'm actually okay with that. I'm hoping that they're going with more of a gun skill approach than movement approach. To me, movement is just like yeah, movement is pretty skill based, but like at the same time, I don't wanna be fucking crouch spammy and whatnot and ai is a really big thing too for the game uh ai is gonna play a really big crucial role in the game i'm not really sure like how it's gonna affect like multiplayer wise i, I mean i did see some gameplay from the stream i was kind of confused of like why there was even any ai bots uh example is fortnite they have ai bots in their game you can like talk to them and like get intel or whatever like i'm afraid that like br is kind of taking that turn now like they're gonna add like ai bots and stuff like that like i hate that about fortnite i mean if they add it to mono warfare and the war zone i think it's really stupid i'm not really a big ai person i think ai just kind of gets in the way of the gameplay like yeah like a lot of the gameplay i saw was just kind of based off a uh, ai which sucks but i mean I don't think AI is going to really heavily influence the game. First, next Call of Duty, man. I'm, I'm really going to try to put all my effort into content creation. I do love making videos and stuff, but lately it's just been like not that much fun. So I, I swear I'm going to try to get back into this content creating thing because I do love video games. I love making videos and sitting here for streaming wise. I think streaming is probably the biggest thing of like why I stopped doing content creation. Streaming to me was just very, uh, it was, it was very, very boring. I did not have fun sitting here for three hours at a time having like one viewer. Like, yeah, I get it. Like I tell everybody always starts out with like one viewer or no viewers. I get that, but, uh, it, it, it gets very, very boring. I talk to myself, trying to make it not sound so, uh, cringe and just sitting there in silence. I'm trying to talk to myself and like trying to engage people and it's it's very very awkward situation so um the streams are not gonna be happening that much i'm probably just gonna stick to youtube video making so that way i don't have to sit here for three hours and just talk to myself this is not a video about like feeling bad for me or anything i'm just saying like i i don't want to sit here for three hours if no one's gonna watch you know i know that sounds really really um stupid that's a really dumb excuse i'm sitting here when i could be recording a good quality video you know I do appreciate all you guys who do watch my videos though. Uh, shout out to Ermel. I know he's always here every single stream I do and every video I post. So thank you, Ermel. But for this next Call of Duty, man, expect me to uh, go all out. Cause I really do want to do this for a living. I love Call of Duty. I love video games and I love doing content creation. So this video is just mostly about me talking about the Call of Duty next event. And also that uh, I'm back and I'm trying to do content creation and uh, I'm gonna try to bust out videos as much as I can, no matter what day it is, what kind of video game it is. I'm gonna start posting videos and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy them. So catch you guys in the next one, all right? See ya.